Hey guys, Crowley here with another episode of Pillars of Eternity. Uh, I'm here with Illy and the Chaste, um, this lady rogue, Karen. <laughs> Is that what? I honestly, it's been it's been a, about a week or so since I've since I've recorded the Pillars of Eternity episode, so I forgot that I named her Karen. So that's that's hilarious. Not gonna lie. Um, uh, but we've also got Alof. Um, Aloth Corvuser, who is, uh, I think, probably my favorite companion in Pillars of Eternity. It's a toss-up between him and Adair, honestly. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just because, like, you get them early, and I just, you know, uh, I, you just have them longest, and I just, you know, so. And then we have Carl, who is, who is quite cute, so. Um, and I forgot what their stats were. Let's look at their character sheet. So Carl is a second-level... Nature godlike druid from the Deadfire Archipelago suite. Um, and he has. Holy, he's got a crazy ass. That's great. So he does a lot of damage. I, I basically, I think I got him in here for like some heals. Um, but this will be awesome damage. Um, he's got good intelligence and pretty good resolve, so that's good. So we got primary might, secondary intellect, and resolve was his tertiary stat. Let's take a look at all of them real quick. So. Aloth, um, as my, my NPC characters are a bit, um, my NPC characters are a bit, like, I guess, optimized a little, whereas, like, the, um, like, these guys, the, uh, the, uh, the vanilla companions are, are optimized, so, like, the base companions, uh, but they are, like, a lot of the times, like, this, like, their stats are based kind of, like, on their backstory and who they are. So, um, whereas I didn't really do that with Karen and Carl. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. I just sort of, like, was just like, what is what is most important? So, he's got 12 might. Aloth has 12 might, 10 con, 15 dex, 12 perception, uh, 16 intellect, and 13 resolve. So, that's cool. Um, he's a third level wizard. Uh, second level Savannah Folk Rogue, so that's cool. Uh, 15, yeah, that's decent damage. Um, good dex, uh, 16 perception, 12 intellect, so we want the extra duration for those things, so. Um, and Ilion the Chaste has, wow, has, has, uh, some good, some good stuff. Oh, that's right, because he's got, yeah, okay. All right, well, anyways, so we've wasted enough time here. Let's go ahead and... Oops, it's F5, isn't it? Let's go ahead. I'm going to go straight into this dungeon because I don't really feel like fucking around right now with a lot of stuff. I love this dungeon. One of my favorite things in the whole wide world, so we're going to go right in here and just start start fighting things. So, yeah. Hello, who's there? <laughs> oh, I'm not Hello. reading all that. Huh. Thought you were some... Never mind. Wherever you are, you've traveled a long way to reach a dark place. The temple isn't what it used to be. Uh, probably for the best times being what they are. I'm, a, I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not, not one of the faithful either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. Maybe you'd have better luck. What happened to you? I was trying to avoid the spiders. Ran into a scalder. Might have gone a little better for me if the beast hadn't knocked the sword right out of my hand. Good blade, too. Probably still lying there in the dust. He smiles wearily. But I'm not, so that's alright. It's not a bad wound. I just... I think... Just hurts. Um... Hey, I could go get the sword for you. I've actually never done that, so that's cool. That's kind of you, but there's no need. It wasn't doing me any good. You're welcome to it, though, if you find it, and more if you help me get, uh, if you help me get something more important. With this arm like this, I could use your help. These ruins around us it used to be a temple of Aethus, the scattered god, a grand temple at that. His worshippers would come from all over the Deerwood, from Raetseris even, until the war, of course. <clears throat> um. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones. The ones that could get through, get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. I forget what his disfavored dispositions are, um, so I'm going to have to check that out, but I really want to check this, this, this one. Uh, clever, is it really time for a history lesson? Um, 
just giving you the full story is all. Uh, what I want is deep is in deeper is in deeper inside the temple. Is in deep? I guess that's right. Ah, uh, where the priests live. Lord Radrick had them killed, same as the poor bastards on that tree outside. The temple's been sealed up for years since, until just a short time ago. That's where I got involved. And you know, I hope, Wharton pauses to breathe a moment, the priests, if you can find their remains, well, maybe we could finally give them a proper burial. Yeah, sure. Then by the flame, I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long, it's crawling with creatures. But if you could get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. But they'll uh, they'll be there still, if they're anywhere. Those priests have all kinds of secret chambers. Switches on walls, trick sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out, and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your remains. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. Okay, and then he magically springs up and is just like, I got you to do this shit for yourself. Um... So yeah, our fir the first, I think, dungeon crawl in earnest. The tutorial dungeon is always a little bit different, so let's go in here. See if I can face these, I think there's, yeah, on hard. Will of the Wisps, three of them. All right, let's see who's got what here. Um, it's Spirit Shift. And you, are you, I don't think, you are not immune to blinded. So, go blinded this guy right here. Or don't. That's fine, too. Okay, so now we have two people confused. Let's see, you have... Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. What are these? Mm, I feel like that's not going to be very effective, but I'm not sure. Hmm. It's an AoE, though. Well, ah, whatever. It's got a lot of damage, so it would be super helpful. Um, yeah. Go ahead. What is this? Druid Boar Tusks. Ooh, that's quite a lot of damage. I like that. Um, let's see if we can't... Where are, who are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're right there. Oh, gosh. Um, let's do Kalikov's Sunless Grasp against this Will of the Wisp instead, then. Nice. Oh, shoot. He's out. Shit. I should have been paying attention. Um, he's using Lay on Hands on somebody, which is... Okay. Fucking blinding strike this motherfucker. That way you'll do your... Nice. Awesome. See, that wasn't so bad. Had a person go down, but that's not too bad. See, this is a little bit more... Like, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that that encounter... Oh. The parchment is worn and tattered. The ink is bonded as faded. This is time of hardship. We must have our face in ourselves. Okay. I think that... I remember that encounter in the first one. I'm pretty sure it like kicked my ass entirely, so I'm pretty happy that we're not. And I know that there are... Sp I'm pretty sure that there are spiders that went this way. There's a spider in here. There's one spider. I'm okay with one spider. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, this is a retro separate. Forgot and struck the largest bell first rather than the second. The rest is illegible. I don't remember. All oh, right. Um, I'm actually since we've got a free one right there, I'm actually gonna do a little resty do. Ah, your sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispered, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of Gilded Vale's gallows tree, the creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind until its sound is deafening. 
Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose woman whose face is shriveled inward and uh, inward like moldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side as you look uh, as you look at her. There's punctuation there, you know. Um, she looms larger and larger in your mind until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly, her head snaps up, her eyes open, and they are empty. And behind them is vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Her mouth slowly parts, and with a gust of rancid air, she speaks a word. Watcher. You jolt awake, the foul smell of the dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets, and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her decaying face when you spoke with the magistrate. He called her an animancer. Though it fills you with a new, queasy apprehension, you feel a strange compulsion to see this woman once more, if only to confirm that she's truly dead. I'm here. All right. Well, we'll do that later, because I don't really feel like doing that now. Oh, and I want to grab that. I'm going to turn fast mode on here. So we've already... Boop, boop. I don't know why I did that. should have just added it to my supply count. Okay. Boop. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see where everyone clusters. Okay. Okay. So you, Archimir's dazzling fucking display of bullshit, and then you. I forgot to turn on their stuff, that's okay. Oh, yes, yeah. Nice, okay. Um, ooh. Yo, Aloth needs some heals! You, who are you, where are you? Oh, she's down. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not having an easier time. And he is flanked like so badly. I'm here. No, heal, 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 heal! No, heal! Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Um, shit. Okay, so, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna bore. We're gonna change into a bore right now. Alright. Go, go. Oh, he's stuck. Son of a bitch. Um, uh, alright. I don't want to use up his last spell for the day, though. Nice. Okay, good, good. Oh, no. He's gonna use healing. Ah, uh, yes. Lay on hands on himself, though. See, I like this. I like this. It's a challenge, but I'm not dying. I'm... Okay. Of course, I say that now. We'll probably do the first... I have this feeling like we'll get down to the second level and then just get our asses handed to us by what's down there. Um, if you haven't seen my other playthrough, I won't spoil it for you. So I'm gonna save. Always save after Absolutely. every battle. I always save before and after every battle. Quickly and quietly. The nearby crystals on the light. Uh, uh, you guys can read that if you want. As you look on the air shimmers, the the very dust in the air seems to pull together into a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think. Uh, you can see the shapes of a man, the shape of a man, features rendered uh, in broad strokes of air and smoke. Is is anyone else seeing this? 
Your voice sparks movement. The spirit surges with sudden blazing light. And the next moment you are somewhere else. Your mind is sailed with a wave of fear and noise. You are in the chapter hall. Priests and faithful have gathered in a great crowd spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates, initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles. The room is dark, save for the podium, lit from behind. Two people stand before it, lit in silhouette. A man shouting, voice so ragged with fear you cannot understand what he says. But the rectrix stands calm, unmoved. Her strength will see you all through these dark times. You feel that you feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. The spirit tears itself from you with sudden dizzying force, and you find yourself back before the ruined altar swaying. The spirit fades as suddenly as it appeared. Aloth looks at you through narrowed eyes. Ah, uh, are you all right? You seemed lost just now. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. That's good to know, but I don't suppose you could tell me what that was all about. I'm not really sure. It just recently started happening. Indeed. At the risk of sounding patronizing, you should probably have that examined. It's a shame that Lord Radrix hanged half the gilded veil. The Valian Dwarf might have known something about your condition. Let's continue on. That statement from, from Aloth actually has bothered him, I think. I think it went, ah, yes, there's something there. I knew it. I knew there was something in here. Ooh. Yeah, so... Let me give you that. Do you not have athletics? I'm going to have to give her some athletics. Hmm. She does not. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to give her some athletics, because having a second wind is super helpful. So, let's save again. And hope to God we don't get our buttholes handed to us by the things in the next room, which we very well may. Let's actually, let's go this way. Let's see what's over here first. Spiders and Skelders. Oh, just spiders. Everybody focus on... What is... Did, did I give him a ranged weapon? No, I did not. Most inconvenient. That was weird. Did you hear that in the background? Very strange. Okay, so that wasn't so bad, but a, a giant group of spiders was killing us, so I actually want to see. Ilian the Chase has just become third level. Okay, so they're pretty much all around the same spot. Yes? Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Real, I'm gonna take a second. Sorry, guys. Uh, auto attack. Fucking aggressive, please. Class behavior. Aggressive. That way she'll use uh, blinding strike and other... She won't use Perest abilities, uh, but she will use Blinding Strike against foes and stuff like that, and other things that she that she seems uh, fit to do. Uh, aggressive, and then we're gonna do we'll do crowd control. I don't think it really matters because I don't have Perest abilities enabled for him, because I like to control wizards um, as spellcasters in general, mostly because they just use up spells liberally. And yeah, so let's try this now. And oh, cool, he's got some reach, so that's good. Can you get around? No. Oops. Stand together. Okay, he can't. He just can't reach. What's this? Um, let's see, Brother Edric could carry this letter for you. New Hamar in the morning. Uh, village just changed. Dude, I just said the letter trails off here, so we'll take that. I'm here. Stash. I think that's all. Cool. 
quick and quiet. Absolutely. I feel like we have Scalder. One Scalder Whelp, so that won't be too bad, unless we all get fucking dazed. Whichever. Whatever. Oh, shoot. I don't want you to use that now. Uh, no. Boop. Oh, that's a weird glitch. Okay, cool. Absolutely. So, oh shoot. Yeah! Jesus. Take your Skelder ear, your Mully and Skelder, Scully and Mulder ear. So, where are we? Let's look at the map here. We've almost uncovered the whole thing, so, um, yeah. Well, let's keep going for just, just a second. See if we can fight anything else here. I think they're immune to stuff, but that's okay. She's poisoned. Use, which one are you? Use Crippling Strike against this, and then, oh yeah, you don't have Flames of Devotion. So. Don't feel so good. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead. I want to get more. I want to get as much of this room as possible. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oops, I did not mean yes. to just not take that. Oh, well, whatever. I'll just, oh no! Oh no! 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 Do not, do not allow them. Get out of there, Aloth. Oh god. Okay, um, let's see. I don't know if this will affect them, but we'll try. Well, that's an awful audio glitch. Okay. Okay, so he does, he is ta taking an effect from Arkhamir's Dazzling Lights, so that's good. Um, let's just blast him, too, for the hell of it. Hold your ground. Oh, nice. Ooh, yeah, we're going to have to rest after this. Nice. Yes, yes. Here, use your last one, too. Um, yeah. Oh. It's just the spell. Wasted a spell. Uh, All right. I just want to get the crap out of this room. Oh, there's a thing. There's his sword. Ooh, a fine, what a fine sword. So we'll take that and we'll grab this, because I know, ooh, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a little rest. I'm here. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you're into what I do, uh, but you're not obligated to do so. I'm just happy that you're here, happy that you're watching, and if you are, have you made it to this far into my video or this far into this playthrough, come to that. Um, thank you so much. I love you. You're awesome. Bye forever.